how can you speed up your large language model predictions? In this video, we are going to have a look at VLLM, a library that introduces something called paged attention that can significantly speed up your LLM throughput. Let's get started. This is the official web page of the VLLM project. And here the authors claim that this is easy, fast and cheap LLM serving using something that they call paged attention. And we're going to have a look at what this is in a minute. So this library is actually a nice way to serve your large language models. And uh, of course, this library is actually used in production. And you've probably played around with the demos from the chatbot arena and the Vicuna demo. So if you are using those, you're basically trying out the VLM library behind those projects. So why this library is really important? Well, at least the authors claim that their throughput is much, much better compared to pretty much the standard Hugging Face Transformers library and the Hugging Face Text Generation Inference library. So even behind uh, between these libraries, you can see that the VLM can actually achieve three and a, and a half times more throughput compared to, to the tech generation inference library, which is uh, pretty substantial. So how do they do this? And these are pretty much the benchmarks that they're going to uh, show you how they're performing with different models. And yeah, the secret sauce, uh, it's the page attention. So uh, why this page attention is needed and what it is. So when you're producing, uh, when you're giving um, input tokens to the LLM, they're actually going to be producing attention and value, uh, attention key and attention value tensors. This is from the attention mechanism. And then, all of those are actually stored within the GPU memory. So uh, you can think of this as a storage device for the resulting tensors. And those resulting tensors can be very large. And those are actually referred as the key value uh, tensors. So what this is doing, the page attention, is uh, trying to solve the problem that these are actually taking a lot of memory or GPU memory. Uh, you can see that for a single sequence in WAMA 13B, this is the original WAMA model, this takes about 1.7 gigabytes of VRAM. And then there is a high fragmentation of this memory, uh, which leads to slower throughput. And uh, the authors are claiming that existing systems actually waste 60 to 80% of memory due to this fragmentation. And you can go through this uh, example and see how this page attention is actually trying to fit the essentially the key and value tensors in a much more non-fragmented way. Essentially, they're organizing it better. And with that, you're essentially getting this uh, substantial throughput increase. So yeah, and the authors claim that this actually reduces the fragmentation a lot. Getting started with VLM is uh, quite simple. You just need to install the library using pip install VLM. And then here on the original documentation page, have, they have a very good offline batched inference example. And you're basically importing the sampling parameters class and then the LLM class. And here you have a sample of prompts and how you can actually load the model and get the outputs. We're going to do that in the notebook that I'm going to show you in a minute. And then they have this very nice API server, which provides an example of fast API server. And you can essentially run this with VLM entry points API server. And you can essentially query this server using a simple REST client. Uh, another very important thing for the VLM is that you can actually create an OpenAI compatible server. So you might replace your OpenAI calls directly to some of the open source models that are supported by this library. And yeah, another important thing is that they have a list of supported models and uh, they actually support pretty large amount of models as well. Uh, you can see that they're actually supporting the WAMA and WAMA2 models, Mistral, uh, the new uh, YI model, which maybe we're going to go through in another video. 
I have a Google Cloud Notebook that is running with the Tesla T4 GPU. So this is the free Google Cloud GPU that you get. And here I'm installing the latest version of the Torch library, the Transformers library, Accelerate, and then the VLM, again, the latest version of the library. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to compare what you can get from WAMA 2.0, the 7 billion parameter chat model. And I'm going to essentially import all of the requirements for this. And I'm going to log in within this notebook so I can get access to the WAMA 27B chat model. And here is how I'm going to load the model. Using the text generation pipeline, I'm going to say that I want the WAMA 2 model. And then I want this model to be typed into a float 16. And uh, the device auto parameter is going to put it on the GPU for us. And after the download is complete, I'm going to prepare some prompts. Uh, these are going to be the prompts that we're going to compare the outputs from. So here are the simple prompts. What are the pros and cons of ChatGPT versus open source LLMs? Write an email to a new client. I have, uh, I'm going to ask for investment advice. And then writing a function in Python that calculates the square of a sum of two numbers. So this is essentially the text that we're going to create. And then I'm going to use the rather new API from the Hugging Face library. I'm going to apply the chat template from the WAMA model using the tokenizer. And I'm going to specify a simple system prompt. You're a friendly chatbot who always responds as a superhuman intelligence AI. And I'm going to pass in a text to this. And then I'm going to apply the chat template from that to the text. So I'm going to create the prompts for each text uh, that I have right here. And these are essentially the prompts that we are going to compare our results on. Uh, you can see that the chat template application is actually converting the prompts or the text within nicely and properly formatted text for the WAMA2 model. So these are the prompts that we're going to use. And then I'm going to store those prompts in text files. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to create the Hugging Face prompt. And uh, you can see that I'm going to use the first prompt for the differences between ChatGPT and open source models. And you can see that this is actually taking about 20 seconds or user time of 16.9 seconds. And these are the parameters. I'm going to use max new tokens equals to 256. So the model is actually going to be cut off after that. I'm going to sample the responses and I'm going to set a very low temperature. So this is the response. And let's compare this to the VLM inference. Uh, so I'm going to essentially read the prompts. This is the same prompt that I'm using from right now. And this is how you instantiate the model. And I'm going to specify that I want the same type of Torch 416 for the model. And yeah, this is going to go ahead and download the model again. And I'm going to specify the sampling parameters. I want the same temperature and the same number of maximum tokens. And this is the result that I get. So this time I get the response from within 14.1 seconds. Of course, you can try a lot more prompts and uh, compare the results on your own. But the user time is much, much more, more about three seconds uh, uh, faster, actually. Uh, yeah, and this looks really interesting. And the response is again limited to the uh, number of tokens. So this should give you uh, pretty much the same response uh, length. So for the batch inference, this is a way to essentially sample the model with the, all of the prompts that we have thus far. And I'm going to essentially specify the same things and I'm going to run this to the original hanging face text pipeline. And you can see that this takes about, for the user time, about one minute and two seconds. So this is uh, much, uh, much slower compared to a single prompt. And the complete time is uh, one minute and 14 seconds. And the responses are very good. Uh, they were pretty much the same as I had, which the ones that I had previously. And these are the responses. You can go through those on your own time and within the Google Club notebook. And all of these are uh, essentially good responses. They look quite all right, at least to me. So 
for the VOM batch outputs, you can see that I get the responses right within 41 seconds or 43 seconds. And let's compare this to the wall time of 1 minute and 14 seconds. So you can see that at least here, the VOM is actually giving you a very nice uh, speed up compared to the original Hugging Face library. And the responses again uh, look quite all right. They're a bit different, but we're using a temperature of 0 0.1. The VLLM library appears to be providing some really nice performance improvements, at least compared to the original Hugging Face pipelines. And you can try the library on your own. Uh, let me know what results do you get down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.